and welcome or welcome back to Spitz Puppy Adventures. For today's video, we are going to be doing facts about American Eskimos. So, if you are new to my channel, I have an American Eskimo and a toy Pomeranian. Well, I have a miniature American Eskimo. And I have looked on YouTube on everything that there's just not a lot of YouTube videos or like facts about American Eskimos. Um, on YouTube, there's not a lot of channels about it, and I would like to kind of just teach everyone about them because, you know, if you're looking for American Eskimo, people are going to look for things. So, that is my goal. We are going to be talking about American Eskimos. I will show you mine. He's laying right here, um, so I'll show you him, and then we'll get on with this video. So, this is my American his name is Polar Bear, but we call him Polar for short. As you can see, he's already, <laughs> he's loving this right now. Um, so this is what he looks like. This is him. This is my dog. He's my baby. My sister um, has my, my sister has um, my Pomeranian, and he is mine, and I love him so much, and he's just my baby. So, yes, let's get on with the video. Okay, the first misconception that people have is that American Eskimos are not sled dogs. They are um, companion dogs. So if you just saw, he always wants love. He always, he wants attention, um, or they will. And they're so affectionate. They're so loving. Do you want to come up? I have to get my other dog. <laughs> so this is my sister's dog. I just wanted to show you him. Um, he's sleeping, so I'm going to put him down now. Um, but as I was saying, they're so affectionate, and they're so loving, and they're so caring, and they just, they want you to love them, and they'll give you so much attention, and you will feel so special with an American Eskimo, because that is just how they treat you. So, they are very affectionate and companion dogs. This is something that a lot of people get shocked at. So, they um, were originated in Germany, and they are neither American or Eskimo. They are German, and due to the um, anti-German um, sentiment of the First World War I, they renamed them American Eskimos. So, that is a fact, because a lot of people don't know this. My dog is digging for his warm comfort. Um, just ignore that. Um, but yeah, so they are German, and they originate from Germany. Um, and yeah. <laughs> okay, so... They are a part of the Spitz family. Now, if you, um, like I said, I said my channel name, it's Spitz Puppy Adventures. So, my dogs are both a part of the Spitz family. He is a Pomeranian, and this one is right here. He is also a part of the Spitz family. So, the breeds in there are, um, there is a German Spitz that they um, renamed American Eskimo and German Spitz to two completely different breeds. There's a Japanese Spitz, there um, are Pomeranians, there are Siberian Huskies, Samoyeds, um, and so many other ones, including an American Eskimo. There's so many um, family, like dogs in the Spitz family. So they are a part of that. <laughs> the third one is that they are so easy to train. If the family puts effort into doing it, um, they were actually the first dogs to walk on a tightrope. So any dog that can do that, you know that's a good dog. Um, but yeah, so they're very easy to train if um, the family puts effort in it. So if you're looking for a very easy, rule, or easy rule, a very easy um, dog to train, American Eskimos are those dogs. The next one is they can gain weight easily if not exercised. So, if you, hang on, my dog wants to get down. Okay. So, if you are someone that is not very active or doesn't have a huge yard and just doesn't like to do any like exercise, um, these guys are not for you because you, they do need exercise, otherwise, they can gain a lot of weight, which can cause health problems. Um, so, um, he actually had that happen to him where he gained weight because not that we weren't exercising him, but his brother, um, like you just saw, he's off my bed now, but, um, he got hurt and they're like best buddies. Like I would only have Polar in my room, but they can't, they need to be with each other. Like they can't be separated. That's just how close they are. Um, so he got hurt and he wasn't able to like run and play with him and that's what got him going like 
24 7. Um, so when that happened because they were so close he was really sad and depressed that his brother is not there to play with him and he gained weight easily but um now he's got back to a good weight and he's very happy so that's something to keep in mind like any other dog they do they do come with some health problems um if they are not treated properly or not cared for properly they can develop health problems um like eye problems or hip problems there's a um, a really common one called luxatative patella and stuff like that so make sure you care for your dogs properly because they are actually really healthy dogs if you care for them properly their health is really good um so you don't have to worry about that if you care for them properly and they get proper exercise and stuff like that so keep that in mind also all right now both of my dogs are off my bed but now they are in very intelligent but stubborn i'll give you an example <laughs> um so my dog is so particular on what food he eats he absolutely hates his kibble food uh, <laughs> yeah he hates his kibble food um and if it's he gets something that he does not want he will not eat it which can be an issue sometimes um but my mom will make them food like chicken and turkey and rice and vegetables and so she mix them in and um, stuff like that. And we give them tuna fish too sometimes and we mix it in with their kibble food too. If we're like in a rush or something, they'll, you know, <laughs> they'll eat because Polar is so stubborn on what food he eats. Um, so what he'll do is when my mom comes downstairs and to go in the kitchen, he will show her that he's eating the food. So he's like, good boy, like, you know, stuff like that. And then... And she knows that he does this purposely so that he will get food from her. And um, when she's in the kitchen, he'll sit in the corner and wait for her to make the food. And then he will wait for her to give it to her. So, um, yeah, they can be very stubborn, but they are super intelligent. And, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, and the next one is they can have very, very bad separation anxiety. Luckily, we don't have that problem because we have two dogs and um they are like really close like they're best buddies <laughs> um so we don't have that problem so much so like when we're gone they'll keep each other company and stuff but if it's your own dog you only have like one dog um and you're gonna be gone for eight hours a day um they will get very bad separation anxiety and that is not good for your dog that is not good for any dog in fact so if you're gonna be gone for eight hours a day you're not gonna be able to give them attention and like love you shouldn't get a dog because it's not fair on your dog um so yeah all right they are great watchdogs but with that being said they are prone to obsessive barking um so they will my dog will bark if something runs across our yard he will bark crazy if he hears wind he will bark crazy cars going by he will bark crazy so if you don't like noise this dog is not for you but um they are great watchdogs the last one is grooming. Now, they come in um, three sizes, toy, miniature, and standard. I have a miniature, so he's as big as you saw. The standard ones are like, you know, they're big. Um, so, this also depends on how big your dog is, but you do need to groom your dog. If you saw him, um, his coat is very white. It needs a lot of grooming. So, make sure that you're always grooming your dog because they shed a lot and they need a lot of grooming so if you're not up if you don't like fur being everywhere like my shirt's black and <laughs> i have so much dog hair on it um that's just that's just a part of it so if you don't like fur and um you're not going to be able to you're not wanting to groom then these dogs are not for you all right that was the last thing on my list so i hope you guys enjoy this video if you do or if you did please give this video a big thumbs up because look at how cute he is oh my goodness he's so cute and i love him so much and subscribe to our channel to support us comment down below if you think i missed anything and comment down below what videos you would like to see and always have a part me because there's so many out there that so like i said thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next